This abortion law goes beyond a woman's issue and it goes beyond anything you could ever imagine. The societal implications of this are going to be insane. The amount of uh, just pain and damage this is going to cause and the full ability to tell a woman what she can and can't do with her body. And we're going back into a handmaid's tale society here. All of you women who sat home, all you young girls, Adults over 18 years old who did not go out and vote, who did not think that you need to protect your womb, we're now back in the dark ages. Um, brace yourselves, ladies. I'm with you. My heart is just broken. I don't understand why this country hates women so much. I just don't understand it. We'll get through this. We'll figure out a way. When we're joking about it being a handmaid's tale, it will be. If Roe versus Wade gets overturned, there will be mayhem in these streets. For everyone out there with uterus, get on Amazon. By Plan B Generic. It's about 10 bucks. Stock up for any of your friends, family, any person with uterus that may need it in the near future. Anti-abortion, anti-trans, and anti-LGBT laws are inseparable from one another and all represent an attack designed to enforce a gender hierarchy. The whole point is to reduce our genders and sexualities to the biological role of reproduction and to use that to control our bodies. You know what? I'll just go ahead and say it. If Roe v. Wade gets overturned, I am fucking getting a vasectomy. Yeah, that's right. I'll fucking protest and get a vasectomy. To the white women that keep saying that it's going to be like Handmaid's Tale when, when OV raid is overturned. Please shut up. Please shut up. Because people of color have been experiencing handmaid's tale since we came to this fucking country. This is a way to keep the population going so that they can have workers and keep making the rich rich. This is the direct fault of about 43%. 43 or 53? something along those lines, I forget the exact number, of white women. Because that number of women voted for Donald Trump. Listen to black, brown, and indigenous women. Take your ego out of the equation. Fucking listen to them. They've been dealing with this shit a lot longer than we have.